everyone and welcome to a new video from Your Destiny. I'm Eddie the Chump and today we're going to teach you how to build your armor sets for the stats that you really want. The way you do that is by taking advantage of planetary specific engrams and the loot they have within them. All classes in Destiny 2 have a priority stat built into the standard armor that they wear. For hunters it's mobility, for titans it's resilience and warlocks get recovery. Now when building your armor loadout you may want to prioritize one stat over the other two. Recovery for example is very popular on both console and PC. The reason for that is, the base recovery in Destiny 2 is very slow and many players can be left frustrated with having to constantly hide for long sections of time while they wait for their health and shields to regenerate. So obviously you might want to change that through your armor build. The problem is, unless you're a warlock, recovery can be hard to come by. Well with standard armor that can be true, but there is a way to loot in Destiny 2 that can give you more of the stat that you really want. I main a titan, so my standard armor favors resilience. However, every planet in the game has a vendor at which you can redeem tokens to get specific loot for that area. The EDZ, Titan, Nessus and Io all have different items within their engram and it's here that you can find not only specific weapons that you might want to grind for but also armor sets. To view these all you have to do is inspect an engram or the empty space where an engram would be. If you have tokens you won't be able to inspect it until you've used them just so you know. Now what stat each planetary armor set gives you is actually different for each class. For me as a Titan Earth and Nessus would give me standard resilience builds whereas Titan offers me mobility and Io had the recovery set I was looking for. Liam plays Hunter and the only armor set that we had in common was Io which was recovery for him as well. If you're a Hunter and you want at least some recovery in your build before adding mods Io is the place to go. Like I said what stat you actually want and what class you're playing will influence what set you have to grind for so check them all out and decide how you want to proceed. Now I've started again on PC I want to get back to my ideal armor stats of 6 mobility, 4 resilience and 6 recovery that I had on console. I was only able to get that with mods and the right armor set from the right planets. I think a build like that would suit any class but it's totally up to you really. The classes can feel very locked in with their stat builds at the beginning of the game but once you know about planetary loot it's actually quite changeable. Now that I've shown you where to look you should be well on your way. Once you're grinding you can make that easier on yourself in your chosen zone by remembering to pick up as many map resources and chests as possible while you're also completing public events, adventures and patrols. The right ghost can help with that but you have to get quite lucky to have exactly the right one. If you're not so lucky, you can buy the scouting reports for at least the chess from Cade 6 for the region that you want. Grinding in fire teams and using fire team medals will also help you get to the engrams quicker as you get better rewards for public events, as will being in a leveled up clan. The only problem with this is that you can get stuck with only one armor set, usually all from one planet, and maybe an exotic thrown in. You'll spend a lot of your time looking the same. I'd argue that performance trumps aesthetics, but that choice is yours to make ultimately. So that's it Guardians, go forth and grind your ideal armor build. Recovery for the win right? Also don't forget Nessus for the Uriel's gift and last hope weapons in their engram, you'll thank me later. I really hope you found this video useful, if you did please don't forget to leave a rating. If you never want to miss another video of ours again please click the bell icon next to the subscribe button on our channel to join the notification squad, you'll be in good company. And finally please check out our Twitter, it's where you can find updates about new videos and other cool stuff. I've been Eddie the Chump and until next time, 